Hi, welcome to Idy Craft Diakami. Today, the cat and I, I guess, are sharing with you my final haul from the UK. This one's from Poundland and Viazda and wherever else I grabbed bits and pieces. <laughs> I'm the Idy Crafty Alchemist. Let's get started. When I did my Evercast a Pound video, I forgot to show you these cute little birdhouse. I actually bought two of these but I was only game to bring one back this time to see how it fared in the suitcase. It didn't do too bad so maybe next time I will grab the other one that I got. I made up some Aussie lolly bags for some kids we were visiting and I had these left over. I would have grabbed more but I forgot because for a pack of eight it was only 75p which is less than $1.50 and these are huge. From the Asda I also grabbed this awesome gift bag. I plan to cut out all of these bits and pieces and use them on cards. It was £1.50 but it is double sided while only one side has the awesome foiling. The other side is equally as good and it's quite a sturdy bag. I grabbed these three lots of spider webs because in Australia I only ever see the white one and I thought it would be a good idea to have different colours for Halloween projects. Not that I know if I'm going to get to use it this year. I haven't even started my Halloween projects. You'll probably see this after Halloween. It is over halfway through October but I only just got back from England a couple of days ago so I haven't had a chance to start any Halloween projects. Also from Asda are these Halloween devilish drink clings. I'm trying to come up with some ideas to use these. There's two different designs and eight of each. So hopefully I think of some way to use them other than just glasses. My fiance picked me up a bunch of stickers from the Asda. There is Frozen, Nemo, Aliens, Minions, Spider-Man and Peppa Pig. We went into quite a few op shops. I managed to snag a few pieces of clothing as did Miss Assistant. But I also managed to snag this gorgeous stamp for £2. I thought it might come in handy and it's lovely. It looks like it's only been used maybe once. At the same shop they also had some Ducrafts metallic de decoupage sheets and these were a pound. So I'll have to try and tilt them around so you can see them. Now there are layering up pieces but this piece, this piece and this piece could all be used separately if you wanted to as could a fair few of the extra pieces and there are even extra unicorns that have not been cut out that you could cut out and use for projects. And then on the back there is castles. I guess that's one set of castles and that's the other set of And then one of my favourite stamp sets of all time is the Midnight Fairy Tale stamp set and they had the beautiful toppers and again they were a pound so they were coming home with me and these are not decoupage ones these are just do whatever you like with ones and then on the back we have some unicorns know how well they are showing up on camera because of the lights and I'm sorry about my meowing cat she's being a pain. Then I went to a couple of art shops. This one says Rennie's Art and Crafts. I don't remember walking into a Rennie's but it was in Liverpool right near the start of our holiday which was a month ago so who knows. <laughs> Hunnamule Harmony Watercolour doesn't say if it's cotton but everybody's raving about Hanamiola stuff so I thought I would give it a go. And then I also grabbed some De La Rowney Bristol Board because Bristol Board is super expensive in Australia to get your hands on. Now, unfortunately mine's had a little bit of a sticky situation happen but that's okay. I think it's only on the first page so it doesn't really matter. I got this for six pounds. Super wanted to try this out because I've seen a lot of people use it with markers and pencils and watercolour and watercolour pencils and I've wanted to try Bristol for a very long time. I also went to Hobbycraft and I wasn't really that fussed on Hobbycraft if I'm going to be honest but I did grab a couple of little things. The first one was, well I grabbed some cards and envelopes but I left them at my fiance's. Same with the double-sided tape. Just looking at the receipt. 
My daughter got a Derwent sketching tin. It had six lead pencils in it and it was £7 down to £3.50 and a sketchbook which was £2.75 down from £5.50. I got this watercolour postcard pad. It is 300 GSM. Again, not cotton. But that's okay I just wanted to try out the hobby craft paper and there are 15 sheets and that was two pounds 75 so around five dollars I got this Merry Christmas die because it was a nice size and I like to have a variety of sizes for my sentiment dies and then the thing I was super excited about and I kind of wish I'd got two of these actually but I didn't know how much I'd use them and I didn't want them to dry up. But I got some Posca paint markers and they were on sale for £4.50. And it was only this packet that was on sale, none of the others. And there's black, white, silver and gold. And they are 0.9 to 1.3 millimetres. I absolutely fell in love with the fine Posca pen that I got in my scroller box that you will see eventually I'm not sure when or may have already seen and so I picked up these Posca paint markers as well I'm super excited because on the very last day that we were in London we went to Flying Tiger Copenhagen and I've been wanting to go there for a long time there was lots and lots of cute stuff that I could not buy because we only had carry-on luggage for our London flights because we were only flying from Manchester to London and it would have cost a fortune to have booked luggage so we weren't doing that <laughs> but I picked up four packets and they had lots of where we were but I picked up four packets of the twin markers so there will be a video coming on these eventually they were three pounds a packet so a pound a marker but they have brush tips apparently. So I'm super excited to check them out. I'm kind of wishing I'd got the brown packet as well but there was a reds, I think there was a greys, I'm not sure what else but they had lots of different colours. I don't think I grabbed the reds because I don't think I like the colours in it. I think they were two pinks and a red so that's why I didn't get the reds, that's why I opted for the oranges instead because they looked like they would blend better. Hopefully at some point I'll get a video done on them. And finally this is my Poundland things. I didn't actually buy much from Poundland while I was there, most of this my fiance had grabbed for me. These are some Fright Night Haunting Frames and I'm not sure if you yeah you can see it changing <laughs> so I'll move this one over and change this one they are <laughs> quite freaky <laughs> kitty you're not helping I am going to work out something to do with them not sure what any suggestions below for what I could turn them into would be greatly welcomed my cat is determined to get into this video. I hook a bike crook. Then I got Dovecraft 3D Pearl Effects and I actually should have left one of them in England but I didn't think of that. And I got the Pastel Clear and the Bright Purple. They had lots of colours but they were the two I chose to try out and I did try and make some spots. Cat kept walking through them and I kept hitting them. Though these ones seem to have dried nicely. They were from the first lot and have a few air bubbles in them the ones that i squished didn't have air bubbles in them kitty i'm trying to film a video what do you want i thought i'd actually bought more craft stuff from poundland but i hadn't these my fiance had picked up for me quite a while ago when they first had it now i am quite upset because i'd stuffed the tape that went with this into my hand luggage not thinking it would fit into one of the suitcases it probably would have fitted fit into my daughter's never mind it went through UK security quite fine but when I got to Dubai they were like nope you may not fly with tape in your bag and I was like no don't throw out my weed in the poo but they threw it out into the rubbish it went and I was very very sad I have yet to see this movie so I hope it's good because I want to see it but I just forget to watch things or I'm too busy to watch things first we'll have a look at the Christopher Robin paper pads we'll start with the red black and grey so it says fluff and stuff and you have cityscape and double-decker bus and there is three of each sheet 
And you have the city sites and poo and the bus and post box. Poo and Big Ben. We have more Big Ben, phone box, Tigger, Piglet, Poo, Tower Bridge. And then we have the same page on white this time. Think, 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 Winnie the Poo. Yeah, I have to admit, I don't like that. I find that as a waste of a page. You could have two of them on there. <laughs> We another black and white page with Eeyore, Tigger, Poo, Piglet, and lots of little bits and pieces. Busy doing nothing with Piglet and Poo. Nobody can be uncheered with a balloon. Then we have the same page as before, only in red this time. Winnie the Poo, Poo for short, Echorns, and that is the last page. There's 36 sheets in this one. This one has 18 sheets, and this is all beautifully gold foiled. Some very similar sheets to the last paper pad. This one has big clocks and an eel tail <laughs> and acorns and bees. We've got Pooh and Piglet, Piglet and Eeyore. We've got the city sites with Pooh, Tigger and Piglet. London bus, bike, Pooh, Eeyore. There's a solid gold Winnie the Pooh with cars and poos and satchels and tickers. And we have the whole crew. Having tea and honey with the poo with his satchel, and that is the last page. And then I have the alphabet square letter sticker chipboard, and there are lots of little images in there as well. The alphabet sticker tiles, and there are two sheets of that, and they are chipboard as well, only thinner than that one. Then I have the metallic cardboard stickers and again more alphabet and a few little characters in there then i have the pearl stickers the a4 glittered decoration pack and there are 12 on this side and 12 on this side so you get 24 big circle ones in that and then i have the decorative stencil pack and finally i have the cards with foil print Unfortunately, I didn't get as much of this collection as I would like, and they threw my tape out. So there's one more item before we have a look at the cards. The 3D stickers. Would have liked quite a few more of them. But unfortunately, the Poundland near my fiancé didn't get a whole lot in, and they sold out pretty quickly of what they did have. Anyone know the way out of here? Who in hat? We're going on an exploitation. <laughs> Piglet. <laughs> And that's where they're having honey and tea. And busy doing nothing. Poo and some bees with the London background. Let me know below what your favourite item from this haul was. That was mostly Poundland and a few other places. I hope you enjoyed my final crafty haul from England. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see more content like this, and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. I'm to go and play with my demanding cat. Bye for now. All right, kitty.